For Globe Sports, my name is Dante Stan, and I'm here with head coach of the Goshen College Maple Leafs men's basketball team, Coach Kyle Caps. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing all right. Thank you, Dan. Well, so recently you've been appointed to that new head coach role of the Goshen College men's basketball team. What was your first, very first reaction to being named the official head coach? Um, I'll just say that the process was so long um, and that it just, normally I'm good with motions and good with like holding down my stress levels and everything, but it, it took me up, it took me on a roller coaster, it took me up, took me down, took me around. Um, but when I got that call and I was, I was excited and then after thinking about it, I was like, I'm going to be a little bit nervous at the same time, too. So, You said that process took about how long did, exactly did it take? Um, so probably a month, month and a half. So uh, I've read up on a little bit of your background and things like that. You've been here a couple times throughout your career. Uh, you started as a, as a student here at Goshen College and a player, came back uh, as an assistant coach, and then again in 2020. Uh, and then you, you've kind of remained in that role and associate head coach last year. So you've worked with a lot of the players on this program, ones that are currently here and ones that have recently left. One of those, Rob Sanders, uh, said he's been a, you have been a really positive impact on his career and his, his life even. Uh, how does that make you feel as a coach? Um, so uh, you, you gave back my background history and whatnot. Like just the reason why I got into coaching was to impact impact guys, impact young men that were just like like me, that didn't have that type of role model growing up. And so when I hear uh, quotes from Rob and, and from other guys, I'm just like, that is, that's the rewarding behavior. That's the reason why we coach. That's the reason why we come back here and, and just put our, put our impact on these young men, just so help them grow, help them get to where they didn't think that they can get to at all. You're the first Goshen College alum to coach this team since the 1980s. Does that feel right to you? Does that feel like that should have been a thing? Uh, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. I really don't. I'm, I'm glad that I, I can be a previous uh, Goshen College uh, student and, and graduate and come back and, and help, help get, get the program to where, it, to where it needs to be at. So like, it, it is like we had guys come through, Coach Chup and Coach Young, and they were good impact and good, good role models for, for us. But like, I understand the school. I know what it's all about. I know the, the true core values of the school and how everything wants to look out. So hopefully I can take that and move it in the right direction. What do you think it says about Goshen College Athletics as a whole that you, you started as an assistant head coach, moved your way up to associate, and now you're in that head coach role, of kind, of, kind of promoting with it from within? Um, that just shows what they, what they cared about, Coach. I mean, Coach Trof, um and Coach Young. Because if you go, actually, Coach, even Coach Chup. Because if you look back, it started with Coach Chup, my uh, former coach, and his uh, his head assistant came it came back from from two years removed and became the next coach, and then they promoted Trof from within, and like so, it just says that like there, there's a lot to know about that you need to know about the school and to know about. Um, the program and to know about the athletics and the direction that it wants to go into. So I'm, I'm just happy that, that I was able to be able to be here under three different, three different head coaches and, and move forward. Uh, so you, you left briefly after the 2016-2017 season, you went to Siena Heights for three seasons. What was one of the main factors in bringing you back here to Goshen? COVID. <laughs> Um, that was the biggest. Uh, I, I got to see in the Heights after I, after that third year, third season that see in the Heights. I, I hit a point where I'm like, I didn't know if I wanted to continue coaching. Like um, COVID had hit um, I, and I was just like struggling with that identity, that identity factor, putting all my identity in the coaching and in, um, in the basketball. And so as I struggled with that, me and John talked a lot. That's like that's one of my best friends. And he wanted me back for, for forever, and, and I was like, Goshen was home. As I spent my entire adulthood here, and I'm at a point where I can come back, and can help impact. So that was that was that was half that was halfway part of the decision, and then I just I just love this place. Um, I told I told yesterday in the in a, in an interview in an interview um, that I don't know why I love this place. I can't put a one specific finger on it, but this place is, is special to me and coming back was the best thing I, that happened to me. 
over at Siena Heights, you were listed as a recruiting coordinator as part of your responsibilities. Uh, are there are some skills from being that recruiting coordinator over there that you've been able to help transfer over here and really and help you in this head coaching position now that you're kind of on the recruiting trail? The building the relationships is one of the biggest things um, in, this, in this job profession. Um, rather, it's building a relationship with other coaches. Um, rather, it's building a relationship with those players. Um, that's one thing that I, when I first went to see in the Heights, I was able to, I had to dive right into it. My first, my first real job, I had to dive right into it and, and understand like these are the ways that you need to go about doing things. And being that, that in that area back home, I had a bunch, I had a, a lot of relationships with people in that area. So I was able to use those contacts and use those uh, relationships to build more, and then to to build those relationships with other players and help them get to our Siena Heights team, which and honestly helped us get to one of the best seasons Siena Heights University had in the last 10 years. So best two seasons, I should say. Um, but that relationships, building those relationships and then bringing them back over here is, is one of the biggest things that college coaching is all about. Uh, talking a little bit about your time as a player here at Goshen College, what was the biggest thing that you learned as a player that has kind of helped you in, in the world of coaching? Not, not even necessarily here at Goshen College, but coaching overall. Discipline. That's the huge, that's the biggest one. I mean, if you ask anybody, they'll tell you how I was at Goshen College. Um, they'll tell you how I was as a player. They'll tell you how I was as a person. Good person to talk to, straight face, gonna, gonna be straight face and walking around campus. But if you actually break down and talk to me, I'm the nicest person. But building that discipline, um, going to class, uh, making sure that you're available, communicating well with your professors, communicating well with your teammates, communicating well with your coaches. Um, we all have our different struggles and different paths to, on that on that journey, but com discipline and communication was the two biggest things that helped me into becoming a, a coach that I am today. Overall, what would you say, kind of looking at the now, what would you say is the biggest difference in coaching style between you and from Coach John Trove? That's tough. That's a tough question. As being my best friend, I know all about him. He know all about how I am. Um, one of the biggest things that I say would be the difference is is the level of uh, the level of for lack of a better word aggressiveness. Um, you see Coach Trope with fiery on the sideline. I'm fiery at practice. I'm more calm on the sideline. I'm more I'm more thinking about what's the next play, what's going to happen, how can we get better at this situation. Um, and so I think that would be that would be one of the biggest difference um, in coaching styles. Like, I think a lot. One of the biggest things that I do a lot is I think. Um, one of the one I, I tell our players all this all the time. If you can't use your brain to think, you're not gonna be able to make it. Rather, it's on the quarter in life because you get brainwashed by so many things. And so I use my thinking to to fuel us and to 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 help our guys, empower them to make decisions on their own. Um, and so that, those are, that's 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 a little bit about my coach style and like just being able to use our brains to think about things. Looking at the now and kind of the future of the program, what's the recruiting process been like for you so far? I mean, has it has it been a success? Are you uh, bringing in new players that you're excited about? I will say, everybody that came, everybody in the program except for one kid, everybody came back last year. Um, I don't know what that says. Maybe that says something about my character, about like how they view me and my, my perception. And then also for all of our, every recruit, every recruit that we recruited last year is, is coming back too. I mean, it's, it's, it's committed to the program this year as well. So I'm excited about those guys. We have well variety. Got guys from Michigan, got a guy from Florida, Ohio, Indiana, um, locally. Um, further away so it's I'm, I'm excited about them um, and I just hope that we can continue that that still success and that still in the recruiting process over the next few years. I'm sure that you're looking forward to working with all the all the players that you've got on the team right now uh, is there any one particular player or a couple players that you're looking forward to seeing them step up in a leadership stance? I'll say the I'll say I'm gonna I'm talk more about the current guys because our freshman class last year was huge for us um, being able to bring in those guys after being able to bring in those guys and they some of them had to play right away um, like Greg Johnson he had to play right away Clay McGlagan he had to play right away um, specifically those two and I'm just look I'm really looking forward to seeing their jump from freshman to sophomore year we talk about all the time like that's the biggest jump in high school and in college 
your freshman to sophomore year. In high school, that's when you go from being nobody to actually now I got to put my mark on, the, on help on the program. It's kind of the same thing in college. Um, Greg is going to be looked to be a leader this year. He's going to be our he's going to be a point guard. He's going to have to be our lead guard. He's going to have to me and him. Our communication has to be great. He has to be able to communicate great with his teammates. Um, so we have to make sure that, that he his his uh, leadership level is growing. Um, that's one thing I'm looking forward to. And then same with Clay, but Clay more of in a uh, confident, more of in believing, believing of himself and, and believing that he can do that and keeping that all in line, all intact. So those two guys this year have big, tremendous jumps and leaps to, to go to the to sophomore year. So. Yeah, specifically Greg Johnson there at that point guard position. I assume he learned a lot from Rob Sanders. Did Sanders kind of take him under the, under his wing a little bit last year? He learned a, he learned a lot from Rob. You know, Rob, Rob and Rob and him they they had an up and down relationship, but you know, like they they learned a lot from each other. You know, like nobody's gonna have a, a perfect relationship with somebody, especially when you being an upperclassman and you being a freshman. Like, um, it's it's a lot to learn. You know, and so. They, 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 they build off each other, end up being able to have good communication. And so this upcoming year, it's going to be like, we got to bring, we got to bring the one, two punches. So. Uh, is there a specific set goal in mind for this season? I mean, I, you know, obviously like from, not necessarily from a record standpoint, but is there something that you as a team want to achieve and you as a head coach in your first season want to achieve? I just want to continue to grow, continue to get better, continue to, to make sure that our mark is left, our mark is left after every game, that you're not gonna walk into Gundam Gymnasium and think uh, you just about to put up, to put up, get us up by 20 points and then cruise on the rest of the way. We're gonna be competitive. We're gonna make sure we work hard. And we're gonna be resilient. We're not gonna give up at any game, any any point. So we're gonna make sure that we go out there and, and leave our mark on the floor. Final question: What's next for Goshen College men's basketball? Goshen College men's basketball, it's a different direction that we're going into. Um, we, we have to change the direction we're going into. Um, we can't be the same team that we were in the past. We have to go in, the, in a different direction. So we're just trying to make sure that we, like I said, continue to grow, continue to get better, um, and then one day work, work to be where we where we're, where we're need to be at in conference. So. Thank you very much, Coach. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.